Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here. Today I'm going to try something out. It's my, called Tsunami Constrictor. Don't know where I got that name from. Anyway, what it does is it brings the film in as you're dipping it to keep the fading down as much as possible. And uh, I'm doing two pot, uh, plant pots today, the uh, terracotta ones. Uh, they're easy to put a base on, just simple stuff to dip and they're inexpensive to screw around with. So anyway, I'm going to do one with the constrictor as it's moving in and show you the, how the color just kind of stays deeper and brighter. And the other one, I'm just going to dip it normally using that as the, uh, say the rails, okay? Anyway, let's get it going here. I'm going to add air to it. I've got two foot pedals uh, down here on the ground and I just threw them together as fast as I could. I put a air valve. Let me show you here. Little air valve right here under a piece of aluminum with a spring on it and a two by four, okay? And what, this one here will be the release, and the other one is the fill. I think I got 20 bucks in this, okay? The hose is some of that 25 foot grows to 50 foot stuff. I noticed that it did go inside, that's where I got the idea from. As far as the rest of it, keep your air pressure down to 45. You will blow this stuff up, trust me. Ask me how I know. The foam floaties. Cut them off the bottom. If you leave the same round one on there, your, your hose will be out of the water. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I've got a T in here. Air comes in. I'm just using cheap fuel line. You don't need anything uh, as far as air hose goes for 45 pounds. Everything's fine. So I'll fill it up now. A little gas there. Got a nice circle. I come over here. I've got these wires underneath. This is actually speedometer cable. It loops nice and it kind of has a nice constant weight on it. So I use that kind of for, it kind of holds it together and comes in together a little more symmetrically. That's all I can tell you. I mean, it works pretty good, so we use it. Anyway, I'm going to dump this film in. Give me a second. Okay, we got our film here. We'll drop it right in here and I'm going to let some of the air out. We're going to kind of control. a little bit of room for expansion. I got a nice air bubble in there today. Get out of there. Hitchhikers that want to free ride everywhere. Put down a little bit more on that. Okay. Oops. That's where I screwed up. I'm giving myself 20 seconds on that. Probably was more like 10. Now I'll give myself 10 seconds. Still looks good. Okay. I'll get the Michael Jackson on here. That was a joke. Michael, rest in peace. Um, I'm using the hydrovator, of course. This is, I don't know if this is um, Brent's film. I don't think so. Try to get it as straight as possible. Before you go in. All right, 15, I'm going to go in at 10. Hope I got enough activator. All right, let me grab that pot. Okay, I'm just going straight in. A little bit of an angle. Sides are pulling in as they always do. My beeper is driving me nuts. Okay. Okay. Let me get this up close to the camera here before I turn the pump on. And you can see, got, can hold it up here a little bit. Pretty fair dip, but you see the color is a little light. Okay, I'm going to set this one over the wrist tank. I'm not going to turn it on yet. Okay, now I'm going to now. I'm going to turn the pump on. We're going to cut this out.
Okay guys, that one's in the rinse tank. Now we're gonna inflate this other one again. We're gonna dip the other pot. Quick pedal. I usually come over here and kind of straighten this out a little bit, get my metal in the right spot. It's a nice circle, I can stretch it whatever I need to to make a little better circle out of it so everything kind of compresses evenly. All right, let me grab my film. Be right back with you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to set this one back down in there. Uh, my timer properly this time. Drop some air out of it. I really decided to roll up on that one corner. I got an air bubble in here somewhere. Expansion. I think these are about a 16 inch circle. Um, plenty of room for a pot. Again, the same activator, so there's no difference in the two. Some lines on this one here. I'm kind of a little jittery here, it looks like. Now, all we can do is come up here and see what we end up with. Okay, we definitely see the difference. Okay, so here we go, guys. We got much tighter, didn't expand nearly as much, there's the original right at the bottom, make sure you can see that, I lift it up a little bit here, there we go, I can see it now, okay, and you can see the roll, it's not a roll, but you can see the film itself, it actually didn't leave me any hesitation lines like I thought it was going to, actually pretty forgiving, but let me grab the other one, okay, I'm going to set this one down here, Grab the other one out of the tank. Okay, this one here is the first one, and this one here is the second one. Okay, see the difference in the color there on the bottom? And you rotate it around. I'm trying to follow my camera here. See the difference in the color? I can see them on my camera, so I know you guys can. A little bit more intense, just a little bit better, better quality. I think. Anyway, just something we're monkeying around with here. You guys got any ideas on how to incorporate this into some work you're doing? Give it a shot and give me some feedback and let me know what you guys have done with it. Um, I'm having fun with it at least and look forward to hearing what you got to say. Anyway, this is Tsunami Hydrographics uh, with the Tsunami Constrictor. We're checking out. See right here? I can run out and be like, <laughs> And then I can run back, and nobody will know. Oh, you know.